All right, recording's rolling. Welcome to Friday, oh, April 1st. Uh, so, quick reminder, uh, a lot of you guys turned in this page already. You guys remember chapter 12 and 13 questions. Uh, it's been a while on those. And so, can't put that in yet. Then double check this. Great's going in. Uh, but we got to separate out this Griffin treasure from the sand. So, did you guys find your boxes from yesterday? You guys got your boxes? Uh, so, sim boxes. We, uh, we're halfway through this project. But uh, so if you're up to where I am, you should have at this point uh, the, the box itself. Okay, that's not kind of rectangular box. Do you oh, yeah. extra empty cup? Or just like crap? Oh, um, yes, time out real fast. All right, recording resume. All right, so of course you should have this box. Um, try to present to two cameras. Okay, you guys, and also whoever's was watching this video at home. And uh, you guys have four sieve layers. Uh, and we'd also cut the holes in these, so different size holes, right? Uh, so just to remind you guys, the last few steps from yesterday, um, kind of corrugated pattern. Uh, remember the holes uh, got like cut in the valleys, uh, just to borrow a term from origami. See how the mountain peaks are just solid all the way through, but the valleys actually have the holes in them, right? So this is right side up, and this is upside down, right? Because like all that sand and griffin treasure is going to kind of settle down at the bottom. Okay. And then this will capture only the very largest pieces of treasure and the largest beads. Okay. Here's the second one down, right? and then the holes get successfully smaller until you get to the, like the bottom piece here. All right, so that's where we are. Uh, let me show you guys the orange model so you guys know where this is going just for the finishing bits. Okay. Here's the model I pulled back out from, from the closet. Okay. Now, Take off this top layer. Okay. Ooh, you guys see these uh, two cylinders rolling around here? Okay. So th these are uh, going to be uh, like, like vertical spacers. I'll, I'll just call these uh, cylinders. Okay. Right. Look like this. Show it for the camera, too. Right. Here we go. Like this right. So there's a couple of those. But home, they, they do want to like roll around. So how can I lock them in place? Well, we're going to do uh, one more modification also on these sieve layers. So here's right side up, right? Now, if I flip this thing upside down, ooh, look at this. You guys see these feet right here? Uh, maybe I'll call these uh, spacers, right? So, ooh, like in three dimensions, you can imagine this like three-dimensional object. Okay, you see that? Okay. See if I take this and I put it between these two cylinders, I'm trying to present to two cameras here. So, okay. between these two cylinders, okay, and I'll let it go. Ah, see how it's kind of like lock those cylinders in place? Okay, so that I can shake this around, but ah, the cylinders are locked in place. All right, so see how this is kind of coming together? So the two last steps you really have are to make the cylinders and to make those feet spacers. So I'm trying to do that. Okay, now to make those cylinders, we're actually gonna make a little bit smaller cylinders, a little bit more economical. You need one sheet of cardstock. Oh, it is the end of the day. So uh, does anybody have materials out of cardstock? Who needs cardstock? Oh, okay. Some of the back here looks like. Okay, get you some card stuck up there. Uh, yes. um, um, chips. 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 Um, do a uh, we're gonna get some quarter pages, so I'm gonna go start with a hamburger fold. Okay. And then tear along that hamburger fold. Uh, you guys have scissors if you want to use the scissors, but zippity do da. And then each one of these will do its own hamburger fold. So I'm just getting quarter pages at this point. All right, we go. Got four quarter pages. What? How was it? Got a few seconds. Catch up here. Oh no! Um, I was asleep. 
Now, remember, there's eight cylinders we're going to have to have, right? Because there's four layers, two cylinders per layer. Now, there's one of two ways we can go with this. So, for each of these quarter pages, do this make a hot dog fold. Can you guys hot dog fold? Hot dog fold? Okay. Uh, and, and the reason is, is because I want these cylinders to be long. Uh, so, there's only one way that they actually fit in the so box. So, you guys are doing a hot dog fold, right? For each one of these, then I'm gonna tear along that, that crease. So have these very long uh, rectangles. Oh no, Griffin Sandy. Let the video record show no one is being bullied. Do your Griffin work. I'm going to roll each one of these into a cylinder. Uh, if it helps to uh, wrap around the pencil or pen, you can do that. Help get started. Uh, my vote is uh, this free hands. I feel that. Okay. How far can that microphone pick up? Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is a big question. We're about to find out this weekend. This is the video I'm going to upload. I've heard myself on recordings before answering questions, so I can tell you all where people are. Oh, no. Huh? It's a big little plug up there. What? Is it inside or outside of the place? Inside the Oh, wait. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stock paper, uh, do a hamburger fold, right, and then tear that in half. And really, only you only need one half per person, so you guys can split this and share this like two per person. Okay, so do that. So there's going to be one, two, three, four feet spacers here, another one, two, three, four feet spacers here. So I got a hamburger this thing. Tear that. Hamburger this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not how you do it, but it's not how you do it. Yeah. hamburger at this one. Would you just I, I catch the bias? I catch the bias. Yeah. 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 Hamburger. See, I leave you surfing, they get the small. They only do like three per. Like two and three. Like two and three interpretations. If you keep a track, this piece right here. It's proportionally the same as an eight half by eleven, but it's a it's a quarter of the width and a quarter of the height, 
which means that it's one sixteenth of the area of the original paper. Yeah. And so you have eight of these. Okay? Because again, if I add up all eight of these, that adds up to a half of the original page. Right? Okay. And uh, to, to make the feet, I'm going to hamburger fold each one of these, but but not tear it. Right? Just uh, your hamburger fold. Off the side, there's one spacer, two spacer, three spacer, four spacer, five spacer, six spacer. Seven spacer. Eight spacers. These uh, cylinders are dry right now. All, right, all I gotta do is glue these pink spaces on here, pop the whole thing together. So um, I, I know I'm working a, at a pretty fast clip up here, but um, show you guys this last step and this be it. So if you guys remember your, oh, whoops, I'm missing a, missing a few holes in this one. Three, three more. But, but, <laughs> There you go. And so I know that this is going to be my bottom sub layer because it has the smallest holes in it. It will only allow the smallest rain to go through. Uh, this is right side up. This is upside down, right? Because I want all the sand to sell to the crevices and bottom, all those valleys. So I'm going to intentionally flip this upside down and then put lime and glue here. Line of glue here, and that's where these feet are going. And one, two. Okay. And set that to the side. Remember that's uh, upside down. Ooh, next one. Well, these uh, have the holes next size up. This is right side up. This is upside down. Find a glue here. Find a glue here. But, but, but space <laughs> or do you like I like So we've really only done uh, two steps uh, so far today. We created these eight cylinders and then uh, cut, folded, and glued on these uh, eight foot spacers. And so I'm going to pop this together and show you guys that this actually does work. 
And so these cylinders, oh, yeah, I'm trying to present two cameras here. They only fit in one direction. Like if we're trying to put them here, like, eh, eh, eh. but if I turn this 90 degrees, ah, so it fits a long ways in the box. So it's a drop right down there. Okay. Now, oh, look, looks like they're all uh, tumbling around at the bottom. Oh, that's not good. I need them to be uh, parallel to each other, spaced out on the ends, like that. So I'm going to take my bottom sieve layer, this guy right here. You guys remember, ah, that's what these foot spacers are for, right? Okay, tuck this in right here, go down to the bottom. Yeah, it's perfect. So whenever I start talking about ah, and now it's locked those cylinders in place. I see that lock those cylinders in place. Next pair of cylinders. Got a couple cylinders at the bottom. Take my uh, second to the bottom slip layer. This right here. Expand that out. Ah, there we go. I see it, had, it locks those cylinders in place. Now those cylinders are locked in place. Uh, second from the top. Oh, what? Next two cylinders. Cylinder, cylinder. Do you guys ever see <laughs> uh, you know what? This one I'm actually gonna shave a little bit off of. Might have to do that. Might have to modify and shave a couple of millimeters off. Do that here. Modify it a little bit. Ah, yeah, that's a little better. Oh, okay, that's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. She was in the hospital. Yes. All right. Right there. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. And then finally, top sim layer. So, a couple cylinders here, cylinder, cylinder. Oh, yeah, this guy's a little long again. Save off a couple millimeters there. Yeah, it's better. Top sim layer. Yeah. All right. All right. You guys ready for the for the test, the moment of truth? Uh, take this sandy grip and treasure. Is this really gonna separate it? You guys think? Think it's really gonna separate it? Yeah, I think. Let's find out. Actually, um, so my top holes are pretty big. I'm not sure what the top layer is gonna capture, but second layer I think should capture some pretty good looking treasure. Uh, now I have a uh, one of these plastic containers of treasure per uh, per group. So to uh, you can help me out, uh, please do try to keep the Griffin treasure either in the plastic container or in your sieve. This, this could get really messy really fast. And then let's say uh, squeeze the balls of container. Uh, oh, you, you want to dump it in the middle right there? Give this thing a shake. Okay. Ooh, look at that. You guys see uh, like the very largest beads are all captured in the top layer. Okay. Right, now you could uh, capture the, the treasure from there. Um, since I have two hands and limited space here, here's what I do. So I'm just going to pull up. Pull this out of here and just shake all everything down. Stop it! You're stressing me out. Right, pull that out of here. Right. Shake, shake this again. Ooh, look at that! Look at all that treasure. Right. So, tell you guys what. Uh, if you see some treasure pieces that uh, you really want to keep, then that's all right. You get, you can take some of the treasure. Uh, so, anything that's left over, uh, if if you could, this would help me out. But uh, could you please uh, pour back into the uh, plastic container I gave from there? Any treasure you want to keep, go ahead. Uh, any leftover sand, please do uh, pour back into the plastic container. Okay. Uh, remember uh, chapter 12, 13 page? If you haven't turned that in yet, then please get that in soon because I'm putting grades in. And uh, that is our wrap on the week. <laughs>